There's another cool Can-Am accessory, a screw jack. It doesn't come like this. You have to put the foot on this little heim joint, just screws into the end, put the bolt through. I use red lock tight to put that in and put this on. You don't want that ever to come loose. You have your rod here, it's adjustable where your pickup area is. The way they advise to mount it, this basically goes through a spare wheel. This goes over the jack like that, goes back on, and you tighten it all to the spare tire. Um, pretty simple. Don't really need them to make a mount or anything. And these are some advised jack locations. I'll show you where they go. Basically, they slide onto here. That pin goes to the hole to keep it from moving. All right, so you basically put the little plate through the back side of your spare wheel, set this little plate over the jack, and then the holes line up with here. It squeezes against the tire, can't go nowhere. Then you put it on your car and put your Y strap over it or whatever, and she's set to go. All right, so here it is mounted on my spare on the back of my X3XRC. And you see, you just run the studs up through, slide the little plate over the jack. Here's your little mount bar where you slide into the frame, pick it up. And that's about it. This works great. It's attached to the wheel. It can't go nowhere. When you use a, a Y strap, whether it's by Can-Am or some other companies, if they have that ring, that's what that ring is for, to keep it centered. So you can adjust and put the ring right over it. You're not ripping the strap. Great little way to mount a jack. Now, in all reality, if you're racing or you want to be pretty quick at it, you could basically just not have the back plate with the studs. Just put the wheel up here, then set the jack up here with this little holder, run the strap over the holder, and it's not going to go anywhere because the strap is holding it itself. But, you know, that's kind of depending on the person and what they want to do. You can actually mount this stud. It's got holes in it. You could U-bolt it to, you know, whether it's your back bumper, your roof, your roof rack, whatever. Mount that stud plate and then set your tire over it, set the jack over it, bolt it down using the lugs, and you wouldn't even need a strap. So it kind of all depends on, you know, how you want to mount it, how fast you want it on and off. It uses a half inch drive basically square drive and then it's got that nice little foot so yeah a, a super great jack and great way to mount it all right this is where they advise you to mount it it's got these little slots and basically you slide it over the frame and slide it up into the frame to where it basically can't go anymore that will be your central jack location where you can put the rod in and then pick it up you have your one bolt hole back here, the bolt goes through, and they advise to drill the hole through the frame here and bolt it. That way it keeps it more of a locked location. It can't roll. All right, so once you get your little mount mounted to the frame, basically slide the arm in, put the pin in. That way it can't go nowhere. Now the arm itself is threaded, so it'll move up and down. Basically get it as close as you can to the ground. And you'll take your impact gun or your ratchet and basically just get it ready. You'll want to, if you look in the instructions, you kind of want to pre-angle it inward a little bit because when it starts to raise, it'll want to go straight and it'll want to fall in. So you want to pre-angle it nearly as much as you can. That way when it does get off, off the ground, it'll be semi-straight and stable. It's got a really nice foot. I would advise to mount all this stuff in the garage Kind of get a feel for it that way when you're out on the trail racetrack wherever then you already know how it works and you'll kind of be preset basically mount your mount to the frame then the jack goes in put the pin in then you take your impact gun and you can pick it up however needed on a concrete floor it's going to slide uh just a side note when you mount this put the jack on it and roll it until it's got some negative degree in it. Then drill your hole for your mount pin or mount bolt. 
that way it, it's going to hold at a slight angle that way as it raises it'll straighten up um simple awesome little accessory can-am jack or if you didn't want to mount the little custom mounts it'll always just sit under the frame just make sure you get it the right angle in sideways and straight up and down can-am jack 